Did you know that by the year 2020, over a quarter of the American workforce will be age 55 plus? This poses a challenge to many employers who are accustomed to employees retiring at a certain age. Those days are over. Employer, employees are choosing to stay in the workforce longer than ever for a variety of reasons. Some of it is personal satisfaction. They love their work and they want to stay engaged and contributing. Others need the money because their assets haven't done very well in the stock market. So for employers with aging workforces, the challenge is how do I continue to maximize the contributions of individual employees as they age? So employers do need to be aware of laws like the Americans with, Dis with Disabilities Act and the ADEA when it comes to managing older workers. So there, there are laws against discriminating against workers age 40 plus, and there, the ADA does mandate that employers provide reasonable accommodation to employees based upon disabilities. And the truth is that statistics show that the rate, the prevalence of disabilities among workers doubles after the age 40. So what are you as an employer to do? Well, like with any group of employees that you have in your organization, the key to unlocking their potential is to create a culture of inclusivity and respect for diversity, and to treat individuals as individuals and avoid stereotypes. Just because an, an employee is age 55 plus does not mean they're incapable of certain tasks. In fact, neuroplasticity research has indicated that the human brain is capable of learning new skills well into later years. So as an employer, it's important to avoid stereotyping, avoid generalities, and to focus on specific tasks and skills and individual needs to achieve those. It's okay to hold employees of any age accountable to achieve certain objectives. And by creating a collaborative, inclusive work culture, it's possible, again, to maximize the benefits to the individual employee as well as to the organization. Thank you for listening.